When late summer and early fall monarchs emerge from their pupae, they're physiologically and behaviorally different from the monarchs that emerge earlier in the summer. Shorter days, cooler nights, and aging milkweed trigger a condition known as reproductive diapause, which is controlled by the butterfly's nervous system and hormones. Instead of mating and laying eggs, these butterflies will migrate, putting off reproduction until the following spring. No one knows exactly how monarchs navigate during their fall migration. We do know that they use the position of the sun in the sky to tell them which direction to fly, but this doesn't explain how they find the same relatively small overwintering sites year after year. Monarchs can't survive extended periods of freezing temperatures, so if they live somewhere with cold winters, they need to migrate to warmer locations. From all over the central and northeastern United States and southeastern Canada, they fly south to overwintering sites in central Mexico. Monarchs that live west of the Rocky Mountains migrate to the coast of California. Recent research suggests that some monarchs from the west move south into Mexico, so there is probably some interchange between eastern and western populations. In the rest of this section, we'll describe both the spring and fall migration of monarchs, their behaviors, overwintering location characteristics, and some dangers that they face. During their migration, monarchs often cluster together in roosting trees as they migrate south in the fall. The same trees may be used over and over, or they may be used only once. Several locations in the Mexican transvolcanic belt provide winter homes to monarchs. In most years, approximately nine different colonies are occupied, but this number can range from five to 14. The number of monarchs that winter in Mexico varies a great deal from year to year, but is probably in the hundreds of millions most years. Monarchs cluster in trees located in forests on high mountain slopes. These forests serve as both an umbrella and a blanket for the butterflies, protecting them from weather extremes. When the trees are cut, the thin forests provide less protection. From the air, monarch colonies in Mexico look like an orange blanket covering the Oyamel fir forest. This photo, taken above the Rosario Reserve in 2000, shows how cleared areas are encroaching on monarch overwintering sites. Predation by birds is an important natural cause of monarch mortality during the winter. Two bird species, the black-headed grosbeak and the black-backed oriole, are the main predators. In some colonies, up to 9% of the butterflies are eaten by birds during the winter. This number can reach 15% when the forest is disturbed by logging, which makes it easier for the birds to reach the branches on which monarchs cluster. Throughout the winter, millions of monarchs fly to nearby streams to drink water in the morning and return to their trees in the afternoon. The monarch colonies move down the mountains later in the winter as it gets drier at high altitudes. Most monarchs have enough fat when they arrive at the colonies to last through the winter. However, some run out of these fat reserves and try to find nectar and flowers in and near the forests. Since there are millions of butterflies in a very small area, it's unlikely that many of them can get significant amounts of nectar from these flowers. In the middle of March, the monarchs that survive the winter begin their spring migration. By the first week of April, the colonies have completely dispersed and the butterflies fly through northern Mexico and back into the southern United States, laying eggs along the way. Their offspring continue the flight north after they become butterflies, so the monarchs that arrive in the northern part of the breeding range are a generation removed from the ones that migrated south in the fall. Monarchs in the western United States show a similar pattern, but their fall migration takes them to several sites near the coast of California. The California wintering colonies break up in February, and the butterflies disperse east and north to the breeding sites.